Now, how cool it would be if you can just write your blog post in a GitHub discussion and it shows up in our blog. Now, in this series, we are going to do just that. Now, this is a blog I have, which is uh, found here. So I'll just show you. I have a GitHub repo and I have a discussion. And this is the you know post that I just wrote. And that has come here. Right. So if I open it and that is the content. All right. Now imagine I add another discussion, uh, maybe something like a general discussion. And I add example. And I can add like uh, content. Let's say I add some paragraphs from here. I'll tell you why I have this open. And add it here and start discussion. And that starts showing up here right and in the in the same way all right now this is really good because you don't really need a computer with you to write your blog post you can just open up this uh you know uh, github repo you can add discussions and that is why i have this open because you can have the github app downloaded to your phone and you can access discussions from there and you can add uh your you know new post by adding new discussion now uh why this is useful is uh let's say you're traveling and you don't have your computer with you and you get an idea for a blog post and you want to write it uh, usually what we do is you you put it in a notepad and then um uh, that's what i do i write it in the note app and then uh, when i have the access to a computer i just copy paste it and then create a markdown file and you know uh, upload it now that's that's kind of tedious like you can directly do it through uh, discussions we can also use issues but in this one i'm gonna discuss about discussions so uh, before we go on to that i i recommend you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the you know next videos all right now this is inspired uh, from you know swix kit i recommend you check this out because it's really good uh, this can be a really good starting point. Uh, this is actually based on GitHub issues. So what you do is you add multiple issues and they will show up as posts. So if you, uh, I think this is the repo that is used. So all these, uh, I think this is for the repo. But if you want to, um, you know, um, add some issues and then make it a post, you can do it. Uh, maybe with some label or flags, I think. So let's see if... Uh, any of these used i see one here better search now this has some you know uh, content and if you go to the site here um which is being already hosted you will probably get that post somewhere um okay so it's it's gonna be hard to search let me use the search fun functionality here uh, better Okay, this is this is probably the one. I may have to just check for the published ones, and I'll probably get some. Now these are the published ones. So what I looked at was Better Search, and it had a title: "Extremely Lightweight Search with uh, This Fuzzy Search." Right. So that's exactly the post we have here, and all the content that we saw there is is all here. Right, so yeah, it displayed in a better way. Here, SwixKit is using issues. In our case, we can actually use discussions. And uh, why discussions? I think uh, discussion has a lot of things that I want uh, in a blog post. So that is why I'm choosing discussions instead of you know issues. But you can choose issues. Uh, it's just about what you query. Now, how we are going to do it? Uh, we are going to use uh, something called graphql explorer from github so we are going to use graphql i think this is done through uh, rest api uh, this is also good but we are going to use graphql and see how it works so as i make changes to the site i will be uploading it to a repository you will have access to all the things we do uh, and we'll do it together so yeah uh, like the post subscribe and in the next one we are going to start with creating this blog thanks guys bye bye